So we want to talk about chemical injectors or downstream injectors. Here's a, a nice set to choose from. Typically they're going to be brass. The higher ends are going to be stainless steel. You'll also notice on these injectors you got different flow rates for different size machines. So we want to run the proper injector based on the unit that you're operating with. You'll see flow arrows, so you know you want your water coming in and exiting out the right way. If they're backwards, they will not work. So the difference that you're looking at right here, these are all going to be 20% injectors. They do make a 10%. I don't have for the picture. It's going to look identical to uh, what you're seeing here. They also have adjustable injectors. All of these injectors are going to be based on flow. So you always want to be mindful of gallons per minute and not your PSI. These are based off of gallons per minute. So that's how you'll choose the proper uh, injector for you and based on the strength. So this one here is a 20%. You can adjust it to get full 20 and then you can close it down to kind of taper that off and meter it to about a 10%. The stainless steel injector, now, getting away from your adjustable going to these here these are going to be fixed draw so it's fixed at 20 percent this one's fixed at 30 percent you know so guys sometimes will run a metering system so they can meter like oh i want to make this a 10 percent injector so in order to do that you need to either batch your chem tank or incorporate a metering system the one at the top here is one i encourage for new guys getting in it does really well at our shop. It's called the X-Jet. It's a 33% downstream injector. All right, it goes at the front of the gun. Your hose will come off here, goes to a five gallon bucket. You know, the downfall is, is you're carrying a bucket around, but it is a, the best learning tool getting into the, yeah, the industry. You know, I, I feel strong if you don't have anybody, like I don't have a shop, I don't have a buddy that can tell me pricing or you know all I can go off of is my labor and how much time it takes me in the field what's cool about this system they give you these metering tips that restrict the flow based off the color by choosing your gallons per minute finding the correct ratio that you need to pull and then you just pop this inside the barb slide your hose over and it's going to restrict this 33 percent injector down to a eight and one or a you know a five and one or the ten and one you know, so ideally these are really popular for um, pre-treating chemicals, like stronger blend chemicals. You know, if you're just doing a house wash, ideally a lot of guys aren't going to meter down their house wash. You know, they want that full strength out of here. For a one tool, for a single guy getting into it that's just super green and has no help, man, you can buy this and you're pulling from a five-gallon bucket, so... You know, I'm going to go to Mason's house. He's got a 2,500 square foot house, say four, five gallon buckets. You know, it's going to take me another hour to do it. You know, it's going to help you kind of get your bidding process down, your chemical usage down in a hard work fashion because you are carrying a five gallon bucket around. So there is easier options. You're like, I hate carrying a five gallon bucket. So let's get away from the X-Jet. But you like that chemical draw. Then we want to stick with that stainless steel 30%. That's going to be as close as you're going to get to your X-Jet, being able to eliminate carrying a bucket and still using the high pressure machine before we have to get into like a 12 volt or a pump sprayer. In theory, these bad dudes should last uh, the life of your business. Not one is going to last the life of your business, but the whole body and the mechanism, the exterior mechanism will. The internals will not. From there, I want to show you guys the rebuild kit. 